Welcome readers, thank you for stopping by. Today we'll be reading Out of School and Into Nature, the Anna Cornstock story, written by Suzanne Slade, illustrated by Jessica Lannon. From the time she was no higher than a daisy, Anna was wild about nature. She loved to hold it close to her fingers. She wanted to feel it squish between her toes, which was why she ran barefoot all summer long, raised slimy tadpoles into pet toads, and climbed tall trees instead of sitting in their shade. Sometimes Anna just sat watching. One of my joys was going barefoot from early spring until late autumn. That's how she discovered nature's secrets. Leafy moths demonstrated the art of camouflage. Fuzzy bees showed her pollination and marching ants explained all about teamwork. Through the years, Anna grew like a sunflower. So did her love of nature. Her mother taught her the names of wildflowers dancing in the meadow at night, she whispered the names of the constellations twinkling in the velvety black sky. Back then, girls were supposed to get married after high school, but Anna's heart belonged to her first love, nature. So she took off for college to learn more of its secrets. Anna studied plants and insects she'd never seen before. Such thousands of insects I never saw before. The more she learned, the more she wanted to share her discoveries. So she began to draw, slowly, carefully. Her bugs looked so real, they almost crawled right off the paper. Amazed by her art, a professor started using her pictures during his lectures. Farmers studied her detailed sketches to identify hungry bugs stealing their crops. Yet Anna dreamed of creating even more realistic pictures. So she started carving fine lines into a block of wood. When she rolled ink over her engraving and pressed paper on top, magic, a beautiful print appeared. Each one was breathtaking. Stink bug, doodle bug, mayfly. Anna was a fine artist, but she was a scientist too. Peering through her microscope, she studied delicate wings, legs, and antenna to create her heart. In her day, most people thought men belonged in science, not women. Anna thought they were as nutty as an oak tree. So she kept on researching and drawing. She created illustrations for an insect book so others could learn about these tiny creatures. In time, she became a nature expert. Then one day, Anna made a surprising discovery. While visiting nearby schools, she realized they didn't have any nature classes. In fact, most New York schools weren't teaching about nature. It seemed other subjects were more important, like reading, writing, and math. Anna knew this needed to change and fast. So she decided to start by teaching the teachers. Anna grabbed her pen and wrote lessons about nature's 